Hello and welcome back to Bampton Insight, or if you're new to our channel, welcome. Today we're going to be doing a review of Air Bampton. So what is Air Badminton? Air Badminton is a new concept recently rolled out by the BWF enabling badminton to be played outdoors. This sounds strange for us because we've spent our whole life telling people that don't know much about badminton, no, we don't play outside. But here we are about to film a video of us playing outside. What does the Air Shuttle look like? We've managed to get our hands on a shuttle here from Victor and we're really excited to see how it compares. As you can see, it has a very different design from your conventional plastic or feather shuttle with these holes hopefully allowing it not to be taken by the wind, enabling us to play outside with it. Is the air shuttle heavier than both plastic and feather shuttles? On our scales, the air shuttle weighs in at 8 grams. This is compared to a standard feather or plastic shawl, which both weigh in at 5 grams. At the bottom of these five pillars, we have the cork, which is noticeably heavier. This is hopefully going to allow for a more true flight in outdoor conditions. Now, before we show you some clips of us having a go with this, the BWF do recommend that this should be played with wind speeds of less than 12 kilometers an hour. We currently have a wind speed of seven miles an hour here, which translates to just over 11 kilometers an hour. So we're right at the upper end of the limit. So we're now going to show you some clips of us playing in our local park. After this, we'll give you our full review. So roll on the footage. So we've just finished playing. As you can see, I'm a little bit sweaty. It's a very hot day here in England, but wow, I can't tell you how much we enjoyed that. So how similar is air badminton compared to normal badminton? Whilst it's definitely not the same, it's definitely better than playing outside with either a feather or plastic shuttle. We tried various different routines. Firstly, we started with some drives where we felt the harder we hit it, the less the shuttle was impacted by the wind. We then tried to do some defense. We felt this was quite hard to get up to speed we normally would because the feeling in Christmas of the shuttle wasn't quite the same. However, we did get a few good rallies when we slowed it down. These were good exercises to help our reactions. After this, we tried some net shots where we struggled to hit tight to the net. However, we could get a lot of spin on the shuttle. Both of these probably due to the increased weight in the court. Then we moved on to some drop shots and this was quite difficult. We felt our lifts had to be really accurate and we had to be very cooperative to get a rally going. Quite often, the wind moved the shuttle right at the last minute, which made it really difficult to time. <laughs> so moving on, a lot of you have asked, does the air shuttle break strings easily? Well, we've played for over an hour now and our strings and racket are completely fine. We've got quite high tension and also quite thin string, 66 millimeters, and still no string breaks. So how durable is the air shuttle? As you can see, the shuttle has held its shape and is in a very similar condition to before we started. These five pillars are made from a polymer material, which is a very strong plastic, so are very durable. As you can see, I'm squeezing this quite hard now, and there's no movement whatsoever. The cork has a few black marks on it from our stencil ink, however, there's no lasting damage. So, those are our initial reactions to playing air badminton with a wind speed of 7 miles an hour. Now, you might be thinking, how can we assess things like the durability of the shawl, and whether it breaks our strings or not, when we've only played with it once? Well, we've decided to come back on another day. Today, the wind is only four miles an hour, so we're really excited to see how this may change things. So here's a few clips. So we've just finished playing for the second time round and that difference in wind speed of three miles an hour has had a huge impact. 
as you can see we managed to get some rallies going in clears which we didn't manage to do before we're also able to time our overheads better and got some routines going so after testing air badminton on two different days we're going to rate the durability a 9 out of 10 as it lasted two hours without breaking or even having a change in its shape whereas with a feather we may get through 10 of these in two hours of hitting we're going to rate the wind resistance a 7 out of 10 this is compared to plastic and feather shawls, probably rated a 1 or 2. Again, it massively depends on the wind speed, so go on a day where the wind is low. Finally, we're going to rate the ability to play normal badminton a 6 out of 10. As mentioned, some aspects are great and others just aren't quite the same as normal badminton. The shuttle definitely plays more like a plastic shawl in terms of feel, probably because the materials are more similar to those of a plastic compared to a feather. What I mean by this is that it's hard to generate slice on the shuttle. You also don't get as much instant repulsion off the strings, which provides more control and touch in your game. Another similarity is that smashes are a lot quicker and heavier. Again, this is down to the weight and the materials of the shuttle. So as far as we believe, the aim of Air Badminton is to make badminton more accessible. And we believe it will definitely do this. As far as it becoming a sport in its own right, we're not so sure, as it simply can't replicate the skill and quality shown in the normal game. We hope you've enjoyed this video of us reviewing the Air Shuttle. If you have, please give it a like to help grow our channel, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Now, before we show you some clips of us playing with this, indoors, unless you're in a really drifty hall. <laughs> we've just finished playing for the second time and as so we've just finished playing so we've just finished playing for the second time round we've just finished so we've just finished playing for the second time round and that difference that's right in the sun I can't do that. Right.